That's like a two-hour drive. And when I get here, they tell me I don't... Speak, child. Yesterday, I, um... Uh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and a man wanted to hear it. Hmm. A good man. Someone I knew. It was, it was just a tiny little slip up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel more, and I want to pay my respects. An accident at the Ether Lab has claimed the life of a scientist. His body is currently stored at the town morgue, and a guilt-ridden colleague plans to visit there to pay her respects. Between them, these two have everything we need to infiltrate the field lab. Room secure. Leave me, Bernard. I, uh, I, I want to be alone. Ma'am? Oh, you're dead, and you still look stressed out. <laughs> so, now I have you to feel guilty about. Great. We build a weapon that will kill thousands, and all we feel is intellectual curiosity. Isn't human psychology a laugh? <laughs> DeSantis asked me if I'm still committed. Like we're on a crusade. We say this virus will end all war, but the truth is, we have no idea, and we don't care. We're just monkeys poking the unknown with a stick, and what of it? There is nothing as potent as an idea whose time has come. No, I don't have second thoughts. But still, being here, I wonder. Hey, if God is mad, give me a heads up, will ya? <laughs> Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach.
Why, you little... Oh, man. Serious types with heavy guns. Not exactly the Yeah, I guess torches and pitchforks are out of the question. Heard they all work for that pharmaceutical company, Ether. Who's the most important? Hope the research goes well, sir. Dr. Lafayette speaking. Just so. I'm outside Villa Caruso now, enjoying a coffee in the sun. Lovely town. So, anything I should know about Dr. Caruso before our first session? I was briefed on his anxiety attacks, his genophobia. Hmm, very well. Don't you worry, Caruso is not the first troubled genius I have turned around. Just look at Jordan Cross. I'll have young Silvio calm and serene in no time. And you as well. It seems Ether Management is concerned about Silvio Caruso's mental health, no doubt due to his mental breakdown last year. They have hired world-renowned psychologist Dr. Oscar Lafayette to treat the neurotic bioengineer. The session will no doubt take place in private, and furthermore, our records show that Caruso and Lafayette have not previously met. Hey, Doc, how's the research going? Not very talkative, okay. space. Do my next book here. Let's go to places any to spend the winter. Hmm. Yes. Hey, what? Oh! what? Oh lord, I think this person might be dead. Hey. Hey, hey, I need your help. Oh god, it's that guy? You gotta help I just saw him. Freak is killing I mean like oh, man, gotta go and stop it. Hey, you're not Oscar. That's not the doctor. You think I'm retarded? He's gone! You're not He's gone! gone. Watch out! Friend. Oh my god! Man, how do you read? Over. You better want is killing people! He must have stolen the last Over there! Over there. 